What's the sun waiting for? That's the question solar physicists are asking right now. Just at the time the sun should be most active, our star has gone unexpectedly quiet. This is supposed to be the time of the solar maximum, a peak in the roughly 11-year cycle of solar activity. But right now, astronomers are seeing very few large solar flares and practically no output of X-rays, both of which are usually telltale signs of the solar max. And as we make this video, there is just one single very small quiet sunspot on an otherwise completely clean sun. The events within any solar cycle have never been completely predictable. Researchers are seeing this as a glowing example of just how much we don't know about the sun. Just because the sun isn't kicking up a fuss doesn't mean we won't get colorful auroras. Or see our satellites get hit with geomagnetic storms. The solar wind is still flowing and can disturb the state of Earth's magnetic field. Over time, the satellites that carry our phone calls, internet, and television shows can get hit with charged particles. Most such satellites, placed in the 24-hour geosynchronous orbit, are shielded with material designed to last about a decade and a half. But tiny electronic components in their vital internal amplifiers can erode in the radiation. And eventually, all of these satellites will have to be retired. No one is quite sure why the sun is snoozing, but scientists are not at all concerned. They do believe that the sun's magnetic field is just about ready to flip. It's possible that this solar max will have a double peak and we're just in the muted time between them. If that proves true, then researchers may look back on this time as the calm before the solar storms of 2014. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. Space.com.